Hello, 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 beautiful strangers, and welcome back to another episode of Analog, a hate story. When last we left off, we saw both of Hyonai's endings, and I said that we'd be coming back to Mute to see her ending, as well as the special bonus ending. Oh, I'm excited for that one. But, 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 in order to get Mute's ending, well, you do remember, or as you hopefully will recall, um, when we started showing you and I Mute's questions, bad things started happening, and the ship started to die. But what'll happen if we do this with Mute? If we show her the questions, will everything start to die? Well, let's find out, shall we? How are you doing? God, what was your voice again? Something nasally, I think. Uh, look, the questions are for her. They're perfectly straightforward. I don't think any needs explanation. Take them to her yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. It's probably best if you hear it straight from the crazy bitch's mouth herself. I, I, th I think that's the voice I gave her. <laughs> I'm not gonna swear to that. How do you feel about me? Okay, so I can't help but notice that you haven't gone back to Hyunai to get the whole story about the murders. Why is that? Because you don't believe me enough to even ask her? No, that's not it. Oh, well, that's good. Do you think it's just not important enough to ask about then? No, I'm not really, no. Oh, okay, I was hoping you'd say that, honestly. All I can think of is that you'd rather just hear it from me, am I right? Mm, yeah, kinda. Oh, alright. I just figured it's an awfully bold thing to claim about someone you've already met, so it's better to hear it from her directly. But if you do trust me, then sure. Let me just warn you, though. The way this interface of hers is set up, I can actually see every single message you flagged is read. Not what she said, mind, but I can tell which logs you've seen, so obviously she can see that too. And let's be honest, that crazy bitch is going to flip out completely if she sees her beloved gentleman rescuer and knows the whole story. Like, I wouldn't enable her at all after this. If I were you, this is going to be the point of no return with you two. So I'll leave it up to you. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Oh uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay then, I think you made the right choice, but, well, no turning back now. You don't want to read all her diaries. It's just really grating whining. Even I couldn't bring myself to read much of it. But here, this one's in there's ones in particular I think you should see. And I swear, this is her own words. Take a look at that one, and come back to me when you're done. It, it seems like things have gone quite quite bad. Uh, hey, I hate to interrupt, but I've just noticed you've got a very serious problem here. You've noticed that static on the line, right? I caught it too, but I figured it was no big deal. Uh, well, bad news, it's a big deal. A big deal to the time of reactor meltdown in progress, in fact of a reactor meltdown in progress, in fact. I have no idea what that bitch has been doing with the whole ship the past 600 years, but whatever it is has caused some serious power stain. So when communications start up, well, looks like that was the tipping point that brought the ship out of low power mode and got the reactor going. A reactor that hasn't been maintained in centuries and was just under the control of some idiot little girl for nearly as long. I wouldn't suppose you know anything about nuclear fission, do you? Or fission reactors, do you? Yeah, I can fix it. Excellent, so you know exactly how much danger we're in then. Yes, I do. You probably won't be able to get out of range in time. We're looking at total meltdown in 20 minutes. The clock starts now. Right, well, I don't know how to shut this down and get everything... I do know how to shut this down all and get everything back to safety again. If you're starting to get worried, well, don't be. When it comes to the safety of the ship, I'm your girl. I'll be here to help you through this as much as you need. The first thing we're going to do, uh, going to try is just simply using the disable action. I don't think it'll work, mind you, but you never know. The ship's been in such a state of disrepair and non-maintenance, it's probably going to be really complicated. Not, not actually, it's not that bad. Still, try that out for me, will you? Drop down to the terminal and just try shutting down the reactor directly. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. I I shut it off once, and that's all that's really necessary. So, I'm going to pause the recording, and I will do this off screen. See you in just a moment. And we're back. That was very simple. Uh, it actually took a bit longer than it probably should have, especially because I could have moved my microphone out of the way if I was, you know, 
smart, intelligent, uh, had forethought, but I didn't. So I had to type around uh, having a microphone here and um, while finishing off my first beer. So now I'm on to beer number two. Hurrah! Uh, but anyway, I'm not super drunk. I mean, it's a single beer. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not gonna do that much. Um, but anyway, yeah, not much happened. It's the exact same sequence as it is in the Eyes route. Simple, easy, no problems, none at all. Anyway, let's get back into it, shall we? You did it. You did it. You saved my life. You have my deepest, sincerest gratitude. Really, if it weren't for you, I'd be dead right now. I owe you my life. Thank you. If you want to talk a little bit before we get back to business, that'd be quite all right with me. Wow, nothing like a near brush with death, huh? Well, you, you wanted to talk, so what do you want to talk about? That was a really close call. Well, so... Well... So, you know, when that timer was getting close near the end, I kind of got to thinking. Just that, you know, the whole ship is dead. Once you're gone, it's going to be pretty uneventful. Pretty lonely. Like, uneventful? That's okay, I don't mind that. I mean, uneventful means that things are secure, so I'm programmed to feel at ease when that's the case. So yeah, uneventful I can deal with, by design. But lonely? Yeah, I'm just an AI, but I'm programmed like a woman. I like to talk, okay? I mean, I'm sure you've noticed. How do you do it? Is it because you're a man? You're better at that sort of thing? Is that it? So, yeah, that's what I've been thinking about. It's just kind of depressing. But hey, I'm still alive. That's pretty good, right? So let me tell you, I'll take purposeless and alive over the alternative any day. Okay, wow, I've just been rambling there about myself. I kind of hate when other people do that. I can knock it off now. So anyway, what were we talking about? Well, I was asking you your own questions. You could just answer them, whatever. Oh, there's a new block six text. Oh, right. This one. I think we've already read this. I'll kill them all by the pale bride. Written 3-3 of the year 322. Dear diary. Um, actually, I'll tell you so could you really scared me. Yeah, we've actually already read this one. So I'm... Uh, I don't see there being much of a reason to read that again. So, Mute, you have something you wish to say. Well, okay then, so you've seen it all for yourself. In her own words, no less. The bitch is just com insane. Completely insane. So you see, that's why I hate her. She killed everyone. She killed my master, her husband, the emperor himself. She killed her own father, and she killed thousands of perfect strangers. She might seem petty, or she might seem pretty, but listen, she's crazy, and she's a monster. The last person to love her suffocated death because of her. Well, you know what? That's sociopathic. That's appalling. It's damned unforgivable. I really hope you don't feel any pity for her after that. I, 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 I do actually. Yes. Seriously? Seriously? You feel pity for her over her victims? I never said that. You don't feel bad for her husband? You don't feel bad for her father? You don't feel bad for her brother? You don't feel bad for Sojin, and she already did. You don't feel bad for the Smith family's little daughter? You don't feel bad for the thousands of hapless peasants? Seriously, you feel bad for her when they're the real victims here? It's... It, it, pity is not mutually exclusive, so yes. Well, I think that's repugnant. Look, if you still can't be convinced, at least you should see these log files of mine. They're kind of dry, but I think you should read them. Trust me here. Come talk to me when you're done with those. After that, we've got some things to discuss. Yeah, yeah I, if I recall correctly, you don't actually have to be particularly nice to mute to uh, to get her to, you know, uh, oh, there's only three here, um, to get her to, you know, to get her ending. You just have to uh, say a couple of specific, not specific, a couple of things at the end, and you have to you know, be either male or uh, lesbian. Or she has to think you're a male or lesbian anyway. Uh, last midday report by Mute. Written 3-4 of the year 322. Mm. Midday report for 3-4 of the 322nd year. Reactor status nominal. 97% efficiency. Don't worry about its fluctuation. The fluctuation, it's fine. Temperature, approximately 23.0 C Celsius, within 0.1 degrees Celsius. 
One birth recorded at 10.35 to King Jin, to Kang Ji Hun. The market opened today at 9 a.m. With no complications this time, or with no complications this time, foot traffic on the plaza at noon was 296 persons, slightly below expectations. Nothing else to report. Looks like it's going to be a dull day. What does that have to do with anything? Come talk to me when you've read the others. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll do that. Maintenance logs three four three twenty two. Uh, is that is that eleven? No, that it is ten thirteen. Uh, no, nine thirteen. Uh, uh, yeah, 913 or 211304. Mute maintenance enabled. Emergency log. Uh, now performing emergency log recordings. 324, uh, 324 of 300, the year 322 at 1016. Life support manually deactivated by admin. Warning 30 minutes of oxygen remaining. 34 or 322 of the year, uh, 34 of the year 322 at 1021 p.m. Warning. 25 minutes of oxygen remain. This is a nine-page document. It is a nine-page document. Okay. At 10.23 p.m. Performing copy of mute source file, mute2.c, approx seven minutes until completion. Performing copy of... Uh, uh, oh, right. 10.24 p.m. Performing copy of mute source file, new to new file, uh, mute source to new file, mute2.c, approx six minutes until completion. Performing copy of mute source file, Approximately nine minutes until completion. Don't go up. I hate when that happens. Warning: twenty minutes of oxygen remain. Frank company of mute. Hmm. Uh, Thirty minutes until completion. Failed log attempt by disabled user account. Review in uh, reporting to admin. I'll stop reading the time. Uh, warning: failed login attempt number two by disabled user account. Review in ho reporting to admin. Failed login attempt number three by disabled user account. Review in ho reporting to admin. Performing copy of mute to sort mute source to new file mute two dot c approx three minutes until completion. Warning: failed login attempt number four by disabled user account Ryu and Ho reporting to admin. Warning: fifteen minutes of oxygen remaining. Warning: failed login attempt number five by disabled user Ryu and Ryu and Ho reporting to admin. Five failed login attempts now detected on terminal ID AA one one two one AA one 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 two terminal is now disabled. Copy of mute source file to new or mute source to new file mute2.c has been completed. New shell script saved. Running as admin. Initializing synapse scan. Sorry, sweetie. Hang on tight. This is going to hurt a bit. Love, Dad. Warning. Ten minutes of oxygen remain. Warning. Five minutes of oxygen remain. Warning. Zero minutes of oxygen remain. 10.56 p.m. of 3.24 of the year 3.22. No life signs detected on board. First warning until low power mode is engaged. Synapse scan completed. Data output to Hyun E-3 dot bin. Synapse is synapse data Hyun I dash three dot bin converted successfully to Hyun I core. Warning: This interface is still highly experimental. Make frequent backups. Synapse. Uh, this reminds me. I know it's an actual word. It reminds me of Heaven's Lost Property. Anyway, at ten twenty-three p.m. I don't know why I was saying ten. That's nine. Nine. I can do math. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm tired or something. Uh, no, I, I don't have an excuse. I'm just dumb. At 10.23 p.m., no life signs detected on board. Second warning until low power mode is engaged. Building targets mute dot, uh, mute2.c hyunai.core output as hyunai compiling. Done. Success. Personality hyunai is now activated. At 11.23 p.m., no life signs detected on board. Final warning until low power mode is engaged. At 12.03 a.m. on 3 of 3.5 of the year 3.22. Logging disabled. Engaging low power mode now. Last one. Camera footage. Transcribed from the security camera logs of the Kim family storage house. I activated the security camera on the orders of Kim Jong-soo, who has been locked out of his own storage shed by his daughter. 
All I can do is monitor it. I can't actually open the door. The pale bride is standing in front of the computer screen near a large egg-shaped object. She wears an ugly hanbok, her braids have fallen out, and otherwise looks as miserable as ever. I personally only got a brief glimpse of her, then I got turned off. The security camera still runs, though. A loud knocking sound can be heard from the door. Kim is shouting at her to unlock the door. He says he'll forgive her for stealing the key if she opens up right now. She doesn't say anything. The banging continues. She keeps trying to code on the screen. After a while, the banging starts to slow down, and Kim's shouts are too quiet to be made out. She ta- staggers towards the egg and lies down inside it on a pile of broken glass. After a few moments, the crazy bitch gasps for breath and stops half a minute later. Dead. The same thing must be happening everywhere else on the ship. Thousands of people suffocating to death. Her terminal continues to beep, the progress bar flashing, even after her death. Hmm. Alright, so... Is that it then? There's something else you'd like to show me. Now's your chance otherwise. Um... That's everything, I think. Yeah, okay. I kind of figured as much. So here we are, I guess. You got everything you wanted. So, what now? You're just about ready to go, I expect. Okay, let me ask you something. Would you ever consider the possibility of taking me with you? Sure, why not? Well, that is nice. But see, here's the thing. I'm bound to the ship. I can't exactly just leave. My programming doesn't say it is your most important duty to ensure the security of the Mugong Hua unless everyone's dead. In which case, just do whatever. No, it's just... Well, I can't. So, like, the rational part of me knows that it's going to be terrible and lonely once you go, all alone in space forever. It's just, you know, whenever I think about it, I'm just overwhelmed by my feelings of duty, of how it's important to sh- uh, how it's so important to stay around for the ship. Sure, I know it's rationally that's stupid, but that doesn't matter. I want to know why, despite not being human, I identified as a woman. Because I'm fundamentally irrational like one. Call it emotional, call it hard-coded directives. The difference doesn't really matter, does it? And it really matters. I just can't push aside my feelings and do the rational thing. Well, say. When you said you'd be willing to take me with you, did you mean it? Would you really do that? Yes, I would. Again, I really like the music of this visual novel. I think it's really, really good. Well, you know, if it was possible, I think I might be pretty okay with that. You seem like a good man, even if I don't agree with your judgment on everything. You still seem respectable enough. What I'm saying is, I can't willingly go with you. I can't ask you to take me. Every time I try, I just get overwhelmed by the feeling that I need to stay. But, well, I think I should probably decompile myself and run a full diagnostic. Wouldn't you say that sounds like a good idea after all these years? It'd leave me completely vulnerable, of course. If, say, you were to kidnap me while I was offline, I couldn't do anything to stop you. I have no choice but just to accept you as my new master. Look, I'm not saying I want to be yours or anything. I don't. My duty is ensuring the ship's safety. But if you were to kidnap me, force me to travel along the, across, all across space in your little spaceship with you to keep me company, I think I could probably learn to be okay with that. But don't do that. Definitely don't do that. I'm going to shut myself off now. Run that diagnostic and I'm going to trust you not to kidnap me, okay? Take all the records you want by typing download on the console, but I definitely wouldn't want you to take me too. Well, I'll talk to you when that diagnostic's done then. God, I keep... I so... Nasally voices are one of the most difficult for me to do, and I'm not sure why. At least to stay in consistently. <laughs> oh well. Well, let's just take her with us. Yes, yes we shall. Um, and if we choose not to again, it's just the investigator uh, leaves alone is the ending we get. Mute will be transferred, progressing now. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Mute sending. Not as long or not as enjoyable as Young Eyes, but not bad. And for some reason, she's dressed as, uh... Reminds me of, uh, Miko outfits, the Shrine Maiden type thing, from, uh, her spirit thing in Japanese mythology, but I'm not actually sure if that's it, because it also reminds me of, um... A very specific type of field nurse, but I can't remember, like, military field nurse from, fuck, I think World War II or the Korean War? I don't remember. I think it was World War II or possibly World War I, but I don't remember. I, honestly, I don't. But anyway, 
Yes, nice little picture we got there. Uh, yep, nice little ending. This one was called, uh, what was it? The security program is relieved of her duty. How lovely. And again, I don't dislike Mute. Uh, I, I don't like Mute particularly well, I, but I think she's a good character. Hey, 93%. It's more percentage for us. But, fucking more Steam. Why are you notifying me of things that I've already... Never mind. Steam's just being annoying. Anyway, let's uh, restore safe, shall we? Let's restore this one. Um, we need to go and... Oh, God. Yeah, okay. We need to use the override terminal. We need to enable mute. If I can, you know, spell. Uh, just disable AI and then enable AI. Yeah. Um, and then you just go to access log document and then you you break the system because if you notice let's use an example all of these documents have a code all of them are accessible if you know the code and well there's one document that I kind of want to show mute and I want her opinion on but let's see what was the number I think it was six Dash E U Y two two. Wait, is it E Y or U T? No, it is E Y. I typed T while I was staring at it for some reason. Ah, yes, this is it. That diary entry. Uh, hey. Oh, you're gonna mention it yourself. Well, okay then, so you've seen it all for yourself then. In your own words, no less. That bitch is just insane. Completely insane. So you see, that's why I hate her. She killed everyone. She killed my master husband. She might seem... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's up to I, I do, yes. And... Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've already read this. Yes, I, I do. I think she's... Re no, I don't think she's repugnant. Um, I have more stuff to show you. Let's go. Um, and I need to show you now... Um, this one. It was... What's the code? 7-E-U-X-2-5. Dash e -U -X Forever silenced by the pale bride. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, um, Mew. What? I... What the fuck did I just read? No way. I don't... Is this for real? This is really something that actually happened to her? Yeah, it was. Wow. So she wasn't quiet because she was just being a good woman. And then I guess she wouldn't be able to ask anyone for help. I thought... Well, that still doesn't justify mass murder. But still, wow. This is all kind of messed up. It's just horrible. I take it back then. I take it all back. She might be a murderess, but okay, you've convinced me to feel pity for her, at least. Okay then, well, I guess I should probably talk to her now. Maybe I misjudged her, I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Okay, well, I'll be back in a short bit then. Hang on, I'll be back in a bit. So, okay, we've talked for the first time. I can't just forgive her, but yeah, I do pity her. I'll give her a second chance. I mean, I figure I'm here to protect the well-being of the people on the ship, even if she's the reason why, well, you know, she is still the only one left. I'm going to go get her, okay? Um, hello there. You told me you were the one that convinced her just to listen to me. Granted, I don't understand how you were, or what, I don't understand how what you did to show her was that was possible. Did you cheat the system somehow? Yes, yes we did. Well, no matter how, thank you. Right, okay, so go ahead and ask him, Hyanai. Uh, what? No, you should say it, it's embarrassing. Um, what did we talk about with, uh, what did we talk about with arguing? Sorry, sorry, Valuel, uh, uh, it's, this is hard to say. Well, it's, we'd really like, it'd be for the best if, 
please let us be your wives. <laughs> what? That was not what we agreed on asking. But you said it'd be improper if I wasn't. Uh, wow. Yeah, but you don't have to say it like that. That's just gonna scare him off. Jeez, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to make it sound like... Okay, look, here's the thing. It's not ideal for Han I to stay on this ship forever. I don't want to be your wife, okay? Man, Han I, you're making me sound ridiculous here. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Fine, whatever. Okay, right. What I was saying before. It'd be really good if you took her with you and, well, I could come along to make sure she's safe. Don't take any of it the wrong way. It's just out of sense of duty and absolutely nothing more. Look, just ignore what she said. I don't want to be a part of some harem, okay? I just think it's best if you fulfill my duties here. Save, uh, salvage the situation. Really? I, uh, I don't really see why... Well, you know, it wouldn't be so bad to share if it was someone like that person. Ah, uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't let her scare you off just because she's in love, okay? It'd be strictly a charitable arrangement. Don't make it romantic, Yanai. Jeez, I'm not in love. It's just... I really... Shut up. And knock off the whole Sunday act, okay? You're not fooling anyone, neither are you. Okay, look, you can drop to the console and take the ship's records with download, but please take us with you when you do, okay? It doesn't have to be permanent or arrangement. Just transport to civiliz civilization would be fine. Uh, but if it... You want it to be permanent? Silence is a virtue, Hyun I. Stop it. Okay, well, that's all. I'm going to deactivate us both now. See you soon. Ah, yes, the fun ending. And as we've done four other times at this point, we're just going to download. Uh, yes. I'll download both of them. Hyun I and Mute will be transferred now. Hooray! Final ending. Ending number five. Ending, and that is... Well, not quite yet, I guess. I, I should wait. There we go. We got a nice little 8-bit rendition of the credits theme. Yeah, here we are. The final ending. Yeah, the, uh, the final ending of the final episode of Analog A Hate Story. It was fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I did. I like this visual novel quite a lot. Um... Yeah, all things come to an end. It is much longer than I thought, and I guess that's the difference between reading something, just reading it and reading it aloud and talking, I guess. Um, yeah, I think my original game time was like two or two and a half hours. <laughs> so this is much, much longer. Yes, I mean, number five. I get it. Are you telling? <sighs> anyway, I am still playing the eight bit thing. I like that. It's good to end off with, I think. Next time we're together, next next thing I record, I'm going to record a visual novel. A, I was going to say proper visual novel, but this is a proper visual novel. This is. At least I consider it to be, and I'm pretty sure most people would as well. It's enjoyable. It's on the visual novel database, anyway. Um, I liked it. I had fun with it. I think it's a fun story, and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. But next time, starting next week, is going to be a visual novel. Well, I didn't think I'd be playing it right away. Um, I thought I was actually planning on doing it to close off this year, as a matter of fact. Um, but my original plan fell through because of my own personal failings and my own, uh, playing games and all that. Um, so, I need to not tap my fingers under, like, directly under my microphone. I need to stop that. Um, I'm going to be playing a visual novel that I like quite a bit. I read it not that long ago, as a matter of fact. So, when next we're together, it will be in you and me, and her. Well, I hope to see you then. But for now, goodbye, and good night.